Hello and welcome, dear course participants, to our course called Digitization, Artificial Intelligence and Law. Digitalization has now completely permeated our everyday lives. It is promoted and limited in a wide variety of ways by the law. There are individual sensational cases that oftentimes find into the media, such as the use of care robots in Asia, or remarkable chatbots, even famous chatbots that offend and insult their users, as well as accidents caused by autonomous vehicles, or cases of expensively set works of art that were produced by artificial intelligence. Questions, questions such as the relationship of law to new types of technologies in particular, ethical and moral aspects of artificial intelligence, as well as the influence of digitization on applicable law, are not only a hotspot in media and social political discourse, they also occupy companies, courts and universities, and in doing that, that shape our everyday life. If you're asking yourself what it is that you can learn from this course, well, after completing the course, you will be aware of the specifics and subtleties of the impact of digitalization on the law. First, you're going to learn the basics of law and digitization and will subsequently be able to comprehend complex issues with technical references and the legal friction points. Furthermore, you will develop multi-layered background knowledge that will be necessary in the future, not only in everyday life, but also in any professional environment. You will have the opportunity to form your own opinions on highly complex topics. And finally, you will get to think outside the box. In case you're asking yourself who it is that is behind this course, it is Professor Hegendorf and his team. Professor Hegendorf holds the Chair of Criminal Law, Criminal Justice, Legal Theory, Information and Computer Science Law at the University of Würzburg. In 2010, he established the Robotrechtforschungsstelle, which translates to the Robotics Law Research Center. Under his leadership, the multi-member team has faced various legal challenges posed by technological developments in the field of autonomous systems. This has ranged from driverless motor vehicles to industrial or household robots that work cooperatively with human beings, all the way to new forms of artificial intelligence software. He's also a member of the global faculty of the Peking University Law School, director of the Bavarian Institute for Digital Transformation, member of the high-level expert group on artificial intelligence, co-editor of the series Robotics and Law published by Novos Verlag. Not only if you're a student of law or if you're studying technical courses such as computer science, but also if you're just interested in the connection between digitization and the law, either privately or professionally, this course might be interesting for you. And don't be afraid, the focus here is not on teaching the finer points of law, but on providing a general overview of potential problems using a variety of examples. Digitization is not just an issue in Germany, but is on the rise across borders, and in all societies the law is having difficulty keeping up with this progress. In terms of legal development, German law has often served as a model for many other countries, such as the criminal law in China, just to name one example. And German and European law is also looked to when it comes to regulating digitization and artificial intelligence. So, we recommend this course also to international participants from all over 